Hi friends, today we will learn about a topic in pathology that is nomenclature of neoplasm. Neoplasm, we know it can be a benign subtype or it can be a malignant subtype. And then there, there are several lineage of differentiation. First of all, it's epithelial tissue. So they line the surface. They line the surface of the body, the skin, or they line the gut, urogenital tract, like that. So always uh, in case of a tumor, it ends with OMA. Usually in case of a benign tumor, Whereas uh, the malignant tumor of an epithelium, it's carcinoma. Similarly, the malignant tumor of a mesenchymal tissue, it's sarcoma. So in the epithelial tissue, when it forms a glands, a benign tumor of that is called adenoma. And a malignant tumor of an epithelium, in, in case where they form glands, that is adenocarcinoma. A benign tumor of epithelium in which they form finger-like projections called papillae, that is called papilloma. A malignant tumor of epithelium in which they form finger-like projections called papillae is called papillocarcinoma. In case of melanocytes, a benign tumor is called nevus, commonly called as mole, and a malignant tumor of melanocytes is melanoma. Now the mesenchymal tissue is a connective tissue. It includes the, the fibrous tissue, the blood vessels, fat, bone, cartilage, etc. So a benign tumor of fibrous tissue is called fibroma. Malignant tumor of fibrous tissue is called fibrosarcoma. So always a malignant tumor of mesenchymal tissue ends with sarcoma. Likewise, carcinoma in epithelial origin. Now, a benign tumor of a fat cell is lipoma and a malignant tumor of a fat cell is liposarcoma. A benign tumor of blood vessel is hemangioma and a malignant tumor of blood vessel is angiosarcoma. A benign tumor of cartilage is chondroma and a malignant tumor of Cartilage is chondrosarcoma. A benign tumor of bone is osteoma and a malignant tumor of bone is osteosarcoma. Now in case of a smooth muscle, the benign tumor is leomyoma and a malignant tumor is leomyosarcoma. The skeletal muscle, the benign tumor is rhabdomyoma and the malignant tumor is rhabdomyosarcoma now let's go through some terms like choristoma hamartoma and teratoma so first of all it's choristoma so that means it is normal tissue in abnormal site or we say it is an ectopic island of normal tissue for example in case of ectopic pancreatic tissue some pancreatic tissue is present in nearby organs like it is present in the stomach, it is present in the duodenum or a small intestine. So it is normal tissue but it is present in abnormal site. Now hamartoma in this case here you have an abnormal tissue in a normal site that means Abnormal tissue, that means a disorganized mass of benign appearing cells which is indigenous to the particular site. Histologically, it is normal, but these are island of a disorganized mass of benign appearing cells. Common example of hamartoma, it is in lungs. And next one is teratoma. Teratoma means it is a tumor which is arising from totipotent germ cells. So these are the cells which can give rise to any of the cell types in the adult body like in gonads or another definition is it is a tumor which can arise from more than one germ cell layer that means ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. So this teratoma it can be again two type it can be even benign or again malignant. So in case of a benign teratoma, 
it consists of mature and well differentiated tissue so it is also called mature teratoma whereas in malignant teratoma it consists of less well differentiated tissue or we say it's immature tissue so malignant teratoma is also called as immature teratoma and benign teratoma is mature teratoma most common extra gonadal site of teratoma is mediastinum hope you love the session thank you